I'm just, I'm just so happy to be here, and I've been listening in on a little bit. First off, Nicola, great dance moves. Oh. <laughs> um, you know, Angie, when you and I first met, what was that, almost a year and a half ago, I was so struck by everything that you do with Kama, and obviously the impact that it has on so many young women and girls in ensuring that they get the education that they so rightly deserve. And that's why when we were able to be together at International Women's Day to talk further about your personal story, but also all these incredible stories, just like the one that you just shared, Fatima, I was listening in on that, and thank you for sharing that. We're just so proud as President and Vice President of the Queen's Commonwealth Trust that we can support you in everything that you're doing because we cannot begin to express how valuable and vital that work is. We're just incredibly proud to be a part of it. I wish I could be with you. We're here in South Africa right now. Aren't you taking a nap? <laughs> <laughs> I'm with you in spirit, and I'm just I'm so happy, and I can't wait to hear more through the rest of the session. Thank you for being a part of today, and thank you for being a champion of girls and women everywhere, every day. Thank you. So we're working on a program of uh, new secondary schools, and this week I will be on Friday and Saturday. I will be launching uh, the beginning of 2050 secondary schools uh, in the country. Um, you're right, picked up on uh, girls' education. Um, that's exactly where I've just come from. Um, being able to spend some time with Kama who is uh, growing over the, over the years. It's now up to 35,000 incredibly powerful women. It is only by working together across agencies, borders and continents that we can finally put an end to the illegal wildlife trade, uh, a crime that continues to deprive local communities of some of their most valuable uh, natural resources. Again, something that the President and I uh, very much uh, share the opinion on. Uh, it also, of course, hampers development and undermines the rule of law.